Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is February 19, 2021. Today is Friday after Ash Wednesday and the first Friday within the season of Lent. And our gospel for today is from the account of Matthew chapter 9, verses 14 to 15. And I would like to share it with you, my dear friends. The disciples of John came to Jesus saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day, my dear friends. As what I've told you, today is the first Friday within the season of Lent. And remember, Fridays of Lent, for us Christian Catholics, these are the days of fasting. And we are encouraged to abstain from eating meat. And my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, during this season of Lent, we are also invited by the church to do some sacrifices and continue to excel in doing what is good and what is righteous and pleasing before the Lord. And today, in this season of Lent, we are asked to, to practice some Christian piety, perhaps doing some uh, personal station of the cross, most probably for some of you if you are able, and uh, doing personal devotions like praying the rosary at any time of the day, the time where you are most comfortable to do that, and to do some personal devotions. Our gospel for today is just a very, very short version, just one verse, 14 to 15 of the chapter 9 of Matthew and I was deeply moved by the question of the, the disciples of John. And this is their, their question to Jesus. And I quote, Why do we fast and Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? End of the quote. The gospel of today is teaching us and reminding us that when we do fasting, when we observe our fasting, we have to avoid these two types of uh, viruses. Friends, when we do fasts, we don't need to compare what we are doing. Stop comparing. Just do your own thing. It's just like the saying of others, mind your own business. There is always a tendency in us to, to compare our devotions to compare our righteousness, to compare our actions. My dear friends, always remember that comparison is a thief of joy. Comparison is just like an assassin of our joy because comparing is rubbing a smile on our, on our heart. When we keep on comparing our actions, it means that we are not happy. That's why... Today, the first lesson of the gospel is this. Please stop comparing. And second, the, the disciples of John came to Jesus to complain. Why are we fasting? The Pharisees are fasting and your disciples are not. The second message is very clear. Stop complaining. Okay? Stop complaining if others are not fasting. Because complaining never, never makes anything better. If we are comparing and complaining, as what our second reading is telling us today, such fasting is not acceptable and pleasing to the Lord. You know what? This is what I've realized. And I'm guilty of this. Because sometimes there is a parasitic tendency in us. Sometimes when we do our part, we cannot but sometimes compare and complain, right? 
And sometimes we we fast, but we complain. We observe fasting, what <laughs> we compare. We there is a tendency of a parasitic attitude because we fast, but we never break our our evil habits. My dear friends, fasting is not a diet thing. You know, we fast. Not to maintain our physical figure, but to discipline our body from inordinate attachments. We fast not to maintain our vital statistics, but to maintain the, the stability, the good health, of uh, the sanctification of our souls by doing some things pleasing to the Lord. Sometimes there is a parasitic tendency in us. Because we observe fasting, but we keep on judging others, right? You know, we, we, we observe fasting, but we never stop our vices and our addictions. We, we fast, but we, we continue to, to be dishonest and hypocrites. This is an irony. We fast, but we complain. We fast, but... We compare our fasting. And sorry to say, there are some others, they are fasting, but they continue their illicit affairs with others. They continue to remain unfaithful to their partner and being unfaithful to the Lord. But dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, such fasting is not acceptable to the Lord. And this is the question of the Lord in our first reading. Do you call this fast a day acceptable to the Lord? But the friends, my dear brothers and sisters, there's only one thing I would like to highlight too. You know, as what I've told you in my reflection in during Ash Wednesday, when we do our fasting, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Therefore, make it secret. Do it private. Do it between you and the Lord. Because sometimes there is a tendency in us that we love to post on social media our piety. You know, we love to announce our our favor. We love to broadcast our our kindness to others. Friends, we don't need to to post it to prove it. You know, I say it again, we don't need to post it to prove it. God knows it. And be reminded it is a vigotry if we are faithful in fasting, but our way of living is far from the Lord. It is hypocrisy. When we do fasting, but our hearts are far from the Lord. And finally, the gospel tells us that to be with Jesus is a thing of joy. Because Jesus said to, to the disciples of John, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them. Can they? It means to be with Jesus is a joy thing. Because joy is is an infallible sign of the presence of God. Joy, it is an echo of God's life in us. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, if we wanted to observe fasting, our first reading of today is suggesting us the best practices, the best way how to do fasting. And you know what? If we're going to read our first reading of today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, verses 58, 1 to 9, the best way to fast is to find joy in giving home to the homeless. Shelter the homeless. If you wanted to, to observe best way of fasting, we have to free the captives. We have to clothe the naked. And we have uh, to provide the needs of others, not to turn back to the needs of the needy. We have to share our bread for the hungry. And we have also to break, and this is the most important thing, to break the cycle of sins in our lives. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the best way to observe fasting is to observe the corporal works of mercy. Today, stop complaining, stop comparing, and start choosing joy.
because happiness is not enough. Celebrate your fasting by observing the corporal works of mercy. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, starting today, try the discipline ourselves by avoiding complaining, by stopping comparing, and by choosing to celebrate joy. And remember, joy is the infallible sign of God's presence in our lives. Amen.